An $8 million contract from the government will give officials of the Bahamas Striping Group of Companies the opportunity to change the way motorists travel on the streets of Exuma. The company has mounted an asphalt plant in the heart of Georgetown to not only complete the project but to boost the island's economy. Here's Aldeby's Munnings. The Bahama Striping Group of Companies and its subsidiary Caribbean Paving Solutions have set up an asphalt plant here in Georgetown to conduct their multi-million dollar road paving operations for the island of Exuma. On Friday, officials gave the Prime Minister a tour of this facility. Exumians can look forward to having world-class roads. And that's a promise to be fulfilled as Bahama Striping repairs 10 miles of road in Georgetown. The plan to mobilize this world-class ADM asphalt plant began in mid-August and already the company has invested $1.6 million in the equipment needed to get the job done. We have to position the um, bitumen tanks, the fuel tanks. Uh, the generator has been delivered. Uh, we brought in a 480K um, generating plant so that we can supply our own power uh, to the site. We needed stability in order to uh, run the plant um, and we could not afford any downtime. Um, and, uh, and so certainly once those components are in place, the next step would be uh, requesting the factory technician to come in um, and then once he comes in it calibrates the plant, commissions the plant, the next step would be uh, the mixing of the asphalt, doing the laboratory test to ensure that the mixed design meets the design for the particular roads that are going to be built and once that is done then we can begin hauling and begin for, um, building the roads. Uh, to date, the project employs um, over 48 um, persons, uh, 33 are local Exumians, uh, so 70% of our workforce uh, at present are, are local Exumians. It's our anticipation to try and have our down on the, on, on the ground before Christmas, uh, so we are just uh, pushing ahead and, 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 and that is the goal with what we're trying to meet so far. The roads heads, it's the source of, of great concern for the residents. Uh, it's been that way for some time. And uh, this progress is positive all around for the residents, uh, for the citizens, for the tourists who complain often. Uh, so I think we, 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 we're on the way f uh, for some positive things here. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hebert Mene saw exactly what this operation will entail before the plant officially opens. He even got the chance to inspire some of the crew and was inspired himself by the tenacity of these Bahamian entrepreneurs. What I love about this particular project, as we move to the south, there are no plants in the south. So hopefully um, they have mobile facilities so that as we move more south, it will be very easy to move the asphalt from this location to the south. And I'm certain when you look at just a 10-year growth span of these young Bahamian entrepreneurs, I am certain that within the next 10 years, they would be doing work not only in New Providence, but throughout the entire Caribbean. So we potentially have here what we would see as an international group in the making, and um, I'm sure that other Bahamians would follow. This multi-million dollar road paving project in Exuma is expected to be completed sometime in 2021. Reporting from Georgetown, Exuma, I'm Alta Mornings, Mannings, ZNS Network News.